Hello everybody, it's Mark from Burton Bibles and I'm bringing you a video uh, overview um, of this new product that we've just had I've just had this delivered today um, and I've been looking forward to this one for a while uh, this is the large print Westminster Reference Bible we've recently just started doing uh, Trinitarian Bible Society Bibles on the, uh, on the website I've been taking a look at some of their products and some of their Bibles, and I'm, I've been deciding of the best of them which fit in with my uh, range of Bibles that I want to sell on the website. And um, the Westminster certainly ticks a lot of boxes. It's a great, it looks to be a great reference Bible. It's not an uh, an old, existing, old standing um, Bible typeface, it's a new one. Um, so it's digital font, has a modern look to it, got a different format to the Cambridge range. Um, and so it offers something a little bit different to what I'm what I'm offering with the Cambridge Bible. So uh, I thought I'd take a look at some of these, and this is what's come today. This is the large print. Now, just to get this in context, um, this is a huge Bible. I will I will tell you that now. You can probably tell by the size it is uh, <laughs> it's taking up. So this is the box it comes in. This blue sort of clamshell, which I'm never a big fan of these boxes, but you know it's kind of par for the course these days so we've got the King James Version um, we've got a, an actual text thing on the back which is nice as well this is the one that's bound in black Mariva calfskin but it is also available in a black vinyl covered hardback which will be considerably considerably uh, cheaper so let's take this Bible out and just see what uh, see what it's all about um, there you have it this is a very large Bible, as I've said already. Um, it is, if we look at it, it is nearly 11 inches uh, tall. So this is taller than a turquoise Bible, um, and it is considerably wider. The, the turquoise has a, a long, a tall, but narrow frame. This one is uh, nearly 8 inches wide. One of the reasons why that is is because they've gone for four columns on each page, a bit like a Thompson chain reference, um, and also it is a large print. Now, just a word on this uh, leather. I'm, uh, I'm very pleased uh, with this leather. Let me just put this in context for you, because this Bible in my hands costs £69.95, so it's a shade under £70. Uh, that's probably equivalent to something like, um, I don't know, ninety a hundred dollars uh, something like that maybe a bit less um, so this isn't an expensive Bible this is uh, cheaper than the um, uh, well it's considerably cheaper than the turquoise even in the calf split and uh, it's cheaper than the Concord reference as well in the calf split so this is a good a good price point for this Bible but I am impressed with the calf skin it feels like a thicker it's thicker, it's, I wouldn't say it's massively flexible, it's probably similar to a calf split, uh, but thicker than a calf split. Um, it, and you can probably make out there is some sort of grain, there's some sort of line here, I'm not too sure what that is, but, uh, but never mind. Um, it's got these hubs on the, uh, these ribs sort of on the spine, uh, for those people who like to know these things. Um, TBS at the bottom, large print Westminster reference Bible. Um, so it's not too bad. Now the thing that you do get with this Bible, which I don't think you get with the normal Westminster, I might be wrong, is you get four ribbons with it, which is interesting, not seen that before. And inside you're going to get your standard sort of vinyl coated uh, paste down liner, so the Bible isn't edge lined. Um, <laughs> But it's it's not too bad, and uh, inside you get the well. This is what Trinitarian are doing with their Westminster range. They've got these uh, scriptures uh, on the inside, which I uh, quite I quite like to be honest. That's uh, that's not too bad. There is a simple presentation page, so I'll uh, I'll forgive them for that. Um, and then we have this uh, front page, which tells us a little bit about this particular edition. Um, tells you the binding options and stuff here. It's printed and bound in Belarus by Print Corp. So this Bible is not a, um, a young blood uh, Bible by any stretch of the imagination. This is printed by, by Print Corp in Belarus. So that is true. That is um, the same as the um, Personal Concord, I believe, which is printed there in Belarus. So the lower cost 
even Cambridge with their lower cost personal Concorde, which you can get for like 35 quid, is printed in Belarus by Print Corp. So I assume that's to bring the price point of the Bibles down. But so far, I've I've been fairly impressed with the quality. I mean, don't get me wrong. When you get if you get one of these, you will know that it is not a a, a sort of a, a Cambridge goatskin Bible. There is a difference here, uh, and I have noticed that. But this is outstanding for the money i will say that um you've got some contents here now this is what i really wanted to uh, show you this is in a king james bible helpful little hints um and characteristics of the av so the capital uh, capitalizations the italics uh, things like that the thou and ye um and then going on from that it's getting specific about this large print Westminster Bible, so it will show you all of the different um, references and helps that you've got in this Bible, basically how to use this Bible. And that's what I like about this. More companies need to be doing this. I've seen this in other translations, but I haven't seen it in a King James Bible yet, and here it is, and I think it's great. You know, you could get this Bible, or one of the other sizes, um, for somebody who is new, uh, to the faith and if you're um, sort of trepidatious about giving them a King James Bible at least you can give them this one and this will tell them how to use the references tell them how to even just make sense of what's on the page in terms of the layout and everything like that so props to uh, TBS uh, for that now this is what it's all about this uh, I do apologize I've got a rather heavy cold uh, but I really wanted to get this out there Look at this. We've got eight columns across the page here. Uh, we've got a fantastically large 11.8-point uh, font, I believe it is. Um, the page size is, is pretty humongous. We've got a 10.5-inch uh, long page size by, what's that, just over 7 inches. So it's a really big page. I mean, this is not a Bible I don't think that you're going to take around with you. This is a Bible that's going to sit on your desk. Now, it does lie flat, which is good, out of the box. And what we've got here is a very clear um, print. Very clear. This is similar to the Cambridge Large print, which I think is a 10.5 point or something like that. So it may even be bigger. And the benefit that I've been finding with this Bible, I give it a bit of a read through today after I got it, is I'm really enjoying the size, not just of the print here, but because it's a larger print, the size of the references. These references are so clear. It's not your standard centre column fare, uh, which even with the bold, uh, the bold type references that the Cambridge Concord uses, which are clear, don't get me wrong, um, this is even clearer because we've got everything that pertains to this left-hand column in this left-hand margin, and everything that pertains to this right-hand column in this right right-hand margin. So I've been really enjoying that, and there's over 200,000 references, which I believe are borrowed from the Cambridge Concord. So there is a similar similarity there with the Cambridge Concord, but they are, have added uh, more references as well. So it's not just that. There's there's a there's a whole uh, raft more as well. So this is really really good. Um, really good print uh, and I'm appreciating that. Now this is, um, it is a sewn Bible so there is quality there, it's got some nice uh, heads and tail bands, it's got those four ribbons. The paper to me um, feels pretty thick, it's not thin paper. In terms of opacity you can probably see as well as I can there, it's not the most opaque paper even despite its thickness. You can see here we've got no no references on this side of the page, um, but we can see what's going on um, on the other side of the page. But it's not a huge problem, it's not a huge issue. Um, in terms of line matching, I believe the Bible is line matched, which helps, uh, undoubtedly. You can probably see, uh, make out there, that uh, you can see that these lines are matched, i.e. the print that's on this side of the page is the same, is matched with the print that's on that side of the page. Um, so that is good. And uh, it's just a, a monster of a Bible. It's huge. It is, <laughs> this is the, probably the largest Bible I've seen, short of something like a lectern Bible. Now, it's not uh, red letter. It's black letter only. Um, 
every in the chapter breaks you've got these running headers here which tells you what's going on on the page and you've got every time there's a new chapter you get this break which comes in and gives you the the chapter outline but instead of squeezing it into the the, the columns they've taken the um, decision to put it larger across here and that's true of all the Westminster Bibles now that may be a little bit marmite probably but I am I'm gonna say I like it I like it because it, it, it gives you another demarcation point for the chapter not just the the chapter number but you can see these breaks clearly on the page um, and it is giving justice to this chapter breakdown which in other Bibles I've had you barely read the chapter breakdown you just skip over it and you just get into the passage but it is perhaps um, clearer to have that there um, so yeah I don't know what else we can say about this Bible I'm impressed for the money Sixty-nine pounds ninety-five. This is this is fantastic. You could give this to somebody maybe who's got who struggles with their eyes, but still wants a good reference Bible. This is you know turquoise territory. You know t the turquoise would be the one I would recommend if somebody wanted a large print reference Bible from Cambridge. If they wanted just a large print Bible, I would recommend the the Cambridge large print. But this is a large large print reference bible and if you haven't got turquoise money money best part of 200 dollars or 175 uh in fact no it's more than that isn't it i think it's about 195 pounds in goatskin um this is an option for less than 70 quid so i'm appreciating what trinitarian bible society are doing here um this is a, a stunning bible now with that said i want to point something out to you because this is what I noticed. This Bible does not have a concordance in it. Now, I'm not sure why they've taken that decision. Because I'm going to show you something. This is the standard size Westminster Bible. This is bound in a hardback. You can also get this in this black Mariva calfskin. And just look at the size here. You can see how much of a monster this large print is. Um, it's considerably larger than this normal size Bible and this is sort of the same sort of size as a Concord or something like that so you can see how this is dwarfed by the large print but in this Bible here we get a little bit more we get the translator's letter to the reader for a start which we don't get in this large print and we get in the back we get uh, some more helps we get um, a very useful and pretty pretty good uh, concordance. So just be aware of that. You still get maps in the back of the large print, but in the back of this Westminster, you get a pretty good concordance, which may well be borrowed from the Concord, I'm not sure. Now, I, I've checked online on the, um, the Trinitarian, the TBS website, there's the concordance in the normal West, normal sized Westminster, and it is it does seem to indicate that the the normal size, whatever you like to call this normal size, the standard Westminster, if you like, has a concordance, and it is listed. It is not listed, sorry, deleted, if you like, from the large print, and it's also deleted from the compact. So this is the compact Westminster Bible. So it's exactly the same. There's the eight column layout, all the pagination etc will line up but in the back we've just got the maps and we've got a list of proper names and I think there's a there's a table of weights and measures and stuff and that's what you get in here as well so these two the large print the large format and the compact which is also available in the Mariva black calfskin by the way they are what do you say they are not the full uh, Westminster if you like it's got the full text block, all the references and all the rest of it. it the one thing it doesn't have is the um, the concordance, and it looks like they've cut out the epistle, um, uh, the translator's letter to the uh, the reader. Okay, but you get all of that in the standard Westminster Bible. So I just thought I would point that out to you. Um, it's not a deal breaker, but just be aware that if you get the the small or the normal. Uh, sorry, the small or the large, 
you won't get the concordance, which I think is the most useful thing out of all out of all of those uh, things that, well, out of those two things, for example, that are deleted. So if you're looking for a Westminster with a concordance, you need this normal size, this standard size. So what do I think about these Bibles? Well, I think they're fantastic. I think they're fantastic for the money. This one is just under £70. This one is just under £60. And I think this one is just under um, £50 or £45, something like that. Um, in, in the calfskin, I, I hasten to add. Um, they are available in these cheaper bindings like this vinyl paperback and this, this vinyl bound hardback. Um, so yeah, absolutely fantastic. This Bible here, it for me, is is a go -to, another go-to recommendation for me that I'm going to take on board. If somebody doesn't mind a more older-fashioned layout, I would recommend the Concord. Uh, if somebody wants... Uh, would prefer a, a more modern, fresh layout, if you like. Um, but sticking with the King James, I would recommend this every day of the week. Um, it is a fantastic Bible, and it's got the concordance in. Um, this is a beast. It is, it is huge. It will stay on my desk. I will read it and use it. Maybe, maybe preach from it, I don't know. But I will use it on my desk when I fancy a nice, easy read but still a full-featured Bible, albeit without a concordance, but with all the references that I need. Um, so I'll be showing that to people who ask me about large print reference King James, along with the turquoise. Um, and just be aware that you can get it in these other two sizes, um, the compact and the standard size. So I hope you found that interesting. I hope you found it informative. I'll tell you what I'll do, because somebody might ask me in the comments, is I'll do a quick comparison for you. So this is the large print. This is the um, uh, standard size, shall we say. Let's get the same page as well. So there you are, 607, page 607. The paper in this normal Westminster does seem a little bit better as well. I don't know. It seems a bit more creamy, doesn't it? But uh, who knows? That might be subjective. And then we'll also get the same passage up in here in this diddy little compact which is still pretty readable so if you this is probably similar to something like the personal concord or or something like that um so two chronicles 31 there you go so that is the and i'll just try and offer these up to the camera a bit more that's the print size that we're talking about so that's the large print 11.8 I think the standard size is something like 9 point something. And then this size down here, which I think is 7 point something. So that is the three prints. If you ask me, as somebody who has fairly decent eyes, average, average eyes, shall we say, the middle one, the standard size, is absolutely ample, very clear, and good to read. And if you wanted to take something with you on the move, the the compact is still eminently readable. It's more readable than a pit minion, certainly. So that's just something to bear in mind. So I uh, hope that's uh, that's of interest to you. These Westminster Bibles are absolutely cracking. I'm going to be selling all three of the Westminster sizes on the website, but only the options in calfskin. I'm going to stick to that for simplicity's sake, and I think they're the most desirable um, binding, so, you know, makes sense to have them on. Uh, in terms of the other um, the other Bibles of theirs that I'm going to, going to uh, stock, um, I was trying to remember the one that uh, began with W, and it was the Windsor, the, uh, the Windsor Bible. So... I will be doing the Windsor and I will be doing the Ruby. Here is the Windsor here. And this is a text only Bible, but in a, a digital font, a new a new setting of the King James, so not like anything we've seen uh, before. And it looks very, very nice. Also available in Black Mariva calfskin. So that's also one that I think I will be stocking um, there. So Sorry to ramble on, it has taken me a bit long to show you all that, but I, I really wanted to get uh, get this up for you and out as soon as possible. Um, hope you're all well, God bless, and I'll see you on another video soon. Thank you, bye.